Yo, what to do, YouTube? It is your boy Marcus. We're back with another video. Today, we're going to be talking about a few things, but the first thing I want to get off is the Colts just signed a linebacker, Malik Jefferson, to the roster. Uh, this is a special teams guy. You know, he's athletic, has versatility, and potential. So, signing him to the roster is not a bad move, in our opinion. You know, we, knew, we do need another linebacker that just doesn't take away the players from on the roster or who we drafted. I think this guy that is talented, it, you know, his free agency market, we go acquire him. You know, he's going to be on special teams anyway, and I think that's a boost to what we got going on. Now, of course, EJ Speed is a concern of matter, you know, because it looks like he might be splitting the reps or Malik could just potentially take his spot. And, you know, the, the, the rule is next man up in Indianapolis, so we don't know what's going to happen between that situation. But you can never go wrong with adding depth. You know what I mean? You can never go wrong with a guy like him that has experience and knows his role. I think it's a, a solid pickup, so there's no complaints here with that. Um, so... That's definitely a move to look out for uh, for the future of the Colts of what we got going on in the organization. So, hey, man, shout out to Malik Jefferson and welcome to Indianapolis. Let me get your thoughts on him. If you know more than me, hey, man, this is why the comment section is there. Go ahead and let me know in the comment section your thoughts on Malik Jefferson. Was it a good move? Was it not? Now, on to the five picks that are very questionable in Indianapolis Colts history. There are a few, in my opinion, you might have one that might be better than me, but... I mean, go ahead and comment that below at the end of the video. So I'm going to go ahead and start it off with a few moves that turned a few heads. And you never knew how they were going to turn out. But you knew there was somebody else in the draft that we could have acquired that got picked up later on. So I'm going to start it off in 2007. Wide receiver Anthony Gonzalez gets picked by the Indianapolis Colts. Didn't really see that coming, but we acquired him. Um, and he didn't really last that long in Indianapolis as well. You know, I think he only played five seasons. And the guy that we could have picked up that went later in the round that turns out to probably had a better career. Now, this when I'm doing this, this is no knock on the players that we drafted at all. You know, I'm a Colts fan to, to the end. So, with whoever we acquired, trust the process. It happens. Nobody's perfect. You're going to make mistakes. It is what it is at the end of the day. So, this is no knock on any of the players I named. So, yeah, we get Anthony Gonzalez. And the person we could have picked up that went later was Jacoby Jones. He was there and got drafted later on. He wound up being a pro bowler, Super Bowl, all that good jazz, and he was very talented. Now, he stayed in the league a little bit longer than Anthony, and, you know, he could have been in Indianapolis. Could you imagine Jacoby Jones in Indianapolis with all that talent? Man, that would have been phenomenal, in my opinion. But that is one person that Indianapolis Colts, if they were looking for a wide receiver, they could have potentially selected. But we wind up getting Anthony Gonzalez, but shout-out to Anthony. You know, he got drafted. You know, he was a Colt, so shout-out to him. Another person. 2013, we get Bajon Warner, edge rush. Now, we all know our history with him. Questionable pick as well. Didn't last long. Another person we could have got was Marcus Hunt. Another edge rush that went for, for a little later in the draft. Another questionable pick. You know, we know we have a few of those, but, you know, hey, man, it is what it is when it comes to these draft processes. But, you know, we got Bajon Warner, and another person we could have potentially got was Marcus Hunt. So, hey, there you have it in 2013. We're going to move a little bit further down. 2015, we drafted Philip Dorsett, probably one of the most craziest draft picks Indianapolis Colts could have selected. Nobody knew what the heck this, this came from left field. Nobody knew we were going to get Philip Dorsett. It was totally crazy. He really didn't pan out to be a good receiver. He's been bouncing from team to team. This is no knock on him. Like I said, it was just a crazy pick. A person we could have selected that was there in the draft that got drafted after Philip was Tyler Lockett. Could you imagine Tyler Lockett in Indianapolis? That probably will be one of the craziest things to think about because he's seen success. Tyler Lockett is really good at what he does. He's not the best, but he's talented, man. Imagine him being picked over Philip Dorsett. Man, that would have been an insane thing to think about. He went later than Philip Dorsett. I'm just going to leave it at that. On to 2019, we draft Rocky Sin. Now, you guys know how I feel about Rocky Sin. I like Rocky Sin. He has potential. He's talented and all that good jazz. But we draft him. He has his ups and downs. Colts fans tell me this about pretty much every other video. And a person we could have selected if we were looking for a corner that went after him is Super Bowl champion Sean Murphy Bunting. We could have picked him up. Now, Sean has proven himself. He went up against some good receivers, even the Super Bowl. He's going up against Tyreek Hill and those Chiefs on that offense. Very speedy. He's shown his potential over the years. He's getting better and better. So shout out to the Super Bowl champ. But hey, man, Rocky Sin still has time to develop, and I I got I got faith in him, man. I really do. 
But I'm saying we could have got Sean Murphy, just saying. Now, the last one is the draft of two days ago. Pretty much a few days ago in the draft, 2021. We get another edge rush in Dayo, and nobody's seen this coming. We got another edge rush in the in the second round after we got one in the first in Quiddy Pay. We go get Dayo. And a person that we really should have got was we were looking for that we didn't see coming. We was going to go get an offensive lineman. We were going to, everybody was saying, okay, edge rush before the pick got closer. We were saying edge rush, edge rush, edge rush when the pick was getting closer. But before that, we was like, okay, get an edge rush first. Second, we get our uh, left tackle and then we move on. But we got another edge rush, back to back picks. Not mad at the pick at all. You start to look at his film and you see his talent and what he can do. Not mad at that. But a person we could have got at the left tackle position potentially was Brady Christian. We could have got him. He went later on in the draft after the Dayo pick. So that was another pick that pretty much took Colts fans for a left turn at the beginning because we were all wondering what the heck is going on. But, you know, it's a process with everything. Not mad at the picks at all. I can't wait to see them on the field. When he comes back, I can't wait to see him play because the sky it, the sky is the limit for these guys, man. So not mad at any of the picks that went on. Probably the Philip Dorsett one was questionable. The only one out of all of them. But all the other picks, but John Wagner too. But all the other picks, I'm not mad at, man. Everything happens for a reason. So it is what it is at the end of the day. But you guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section. What picks, what draft picks really took you for a left end and like a left turn that you never really seen coming? Like what picks did you want? Who did you want out the draft and who did the coach select? Let me know your whole thoughts in the comment section. I can't wait to read them. Let me know your thoughts, man. And until next time, you've been culture shocked.